A local family has been spending the last few years making sure every child gets to take part in Halloween, right. none of them excluded. Right, they want to go trick-or-treating, but according to the Food Allergy Research and Education, known as FAIR, there are 15 million people who have food allergies. That includes our kids. Jamie Hayes, live in Sparks, spoke with a family on how they're painting pumpkins to help. Tell us about the Teal Pumpkin Project. Yeah, if you guys see a teal pumpkin in front of a house, that not only does that mean that they serve out candy, but they're also going to be giving out some non-food treats for kids with some food allergies. Now, the Teal Pumpkin Project became popular back in 2014, but the Hess family started this project right here in Reno around the same time after finding out their kids have severe allergies. They realized that most homes did not have safe treats for their kids. We saw it on FAIR and we thought, wow, that's such a good idea. Um, and we participated the first year, uh, this was four years ago, but we didn't have any other people in the neighborhood. Um, so we wanted to make it happen. The Hess family gets pumpkins donated to them or they buy them out of their own pocketbook. They spend days collecting these pumpkins and then painting them teal. Throughout the month of October, they then hand out these pumpkins completely free. They hope by giving people the option to support the Teal Pumpkin Project, it will help more kids have the chance to participate this Halloween. We just want you know everyone to be included, um, and that's what the Teal Pumpkin Project does. It, it helps include those with the food allergies because um, there's a lot, and it's in its growing number, um, so they can participate and have fun. And you can pick up a free teal pumpkin this Saturday at Andalin Farm. The Hess family will be there handing them out. And some items you can hand out this Halloween for those kids are glow sticks, bracelets, necklaces, or even pencils, pens, crayons, or markers, and, of course, bubbles. Plus, if you'd like to donate to FAIR, who also help with research and helping people with food allergies, you can visit our website at ktvn.com and click on the blue News Link button. And the Hess neighborhood will be filled with houses supporting the Teal Pumpkin Project. So if your kids have any food allergies, you can head over here to Matter Street and Experiment Court. And there are dozens of homes that will be supporting the Teal Pumpkin Project. So head on down and check out these Teal Pumpkins. Covering the story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News. There's more and more of them every year, it seems. Uh, getting more aware. popular. Yeah. No Teal Pumpkin Spice drinks, please. I'm with you. But just putting them out shows your sensitivity. Coming up on Channel 2 News.